hand is the next big thing, and I'm gonna show you why. And the reason this is the next big thing, because you know what? If you're stuck inside, you're snowed in, you can't get out, but you got a few of these and you got your kids around, you got a fun time. Let's dig into this. This is the Lofsi Micro B. Little bitty, full suspension, full proportional brushed buggy. Two wheel drive, it's got little bitty ribs on it, it's got little pin tires. You can race this anywhere. This is a low cost, small scale, so you can race this anywhere. You can probably spread out your mattress and you know race them right there. Look at this, it's all here. Little servo, this is a normal micro size servo, so the servo is actually kind of large for this vehicle. Um, but it makes it nice and easy to change if you want to. The whole vehicle doesn't weigh very much and it's supposed to be like that. Now to get to the battery, it comes with its own 2S battery. You flip this little lever out, this comes up and then you can get the battery out. Just like this right here. This is a 350 milliamp 2S battery, 7.4 volts. And it's got its own USB charger, so you can charge these up and move right along. Everything is a nice composite resin. And Losi's got some of the best composites on the planet, just so you know. Steel drive axles, steel dog bones on the back. Now, I will tell you this. If you got some uh, red uh, heat, heat shrink, put a little bit of red heat shrink on those. This way, if for some reason you smack this thing really hard and it pops out, it's easier to find them. But look at that, little bitty oil-filled shocks and everything. This little car actually has a little bit of history to it. The Losi Micros were out about 20 years ago. And then we moved on to larger vehicles, 110 and all that. But for many, this was pretty much an easy way into the hobby, just like it is now. Some of the quick features of this is that the battery charges in about an hour and you get about 20 minutes of run time. So once you've got that in there, um, you are ready to race. And if you're gonna be racing these like we will, uh, it's gonna be awesome. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to get both your qualifiers in and then charge it up, top it off, and then come back for your mains. The chassis is black anodized aluminum. You see that? Now, the entire chassis layout and all that is inspired by TLR, so this has a race heritage to it as well. Beautiful little setup. Uh, the little oil-filled shocks are tunable. You can do all that stuff with this. Look at the motor design. The motor in this thing is a low center of gravity mid-motor. Look at that, right at the chassis. So this has a lot of performance built into it. According to the specs, this little guy can get 13 miles per hour just like this. Now, once these get out and the aftermarket gets a hold of them, you guys are probably going to have these things running 40. <laughs> but you know what? 13 miles per hour. I'm not even sure how fast that is in 124 scale. Probably like 800 miles per hour or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I can tell you what. This thing, it is built beautifully. Everything on it, it's absolutely hobby grade as well. So, got a big old wing on the back side. Look at that. Oh, I want to go jump this thing now. <laughs> Beautiful. The transmitter is an easy to use SLT2 transmitter. Now, 13 miles per hour, but you can dial that down. Like say you want to race on your kitchen counter, it's totally doable with this thing. So 50%, 75 and 100. Absolutely awesome. This one is powered up. I'm glad it has reverse. <laughs> Let's see something here. Oh, yeah. These are going to be a blast. Chances are good you're probably wondering, something changed. What changed? Well, I'll tell you what changed. Look at this. <laughs> got two of them so there will be some racing really soon and we have a little bit of a carpet track at the jacks rc recycle repair shop out here at the exoplex and um, i will tell you i took a few laps with it and 
These little guys are amazing. I mean, God, I'm, oh man, I'm so, I'm I'm so excited. I've never been so excited over small scale stuff than what we've got lately. Um, this is beyond, you know. It, even though it's small, it's still very, very hobby grade. And it's amazing. The proportions are perfect. It's just awesome. Let's talk about the motor and the ESC. Now the ESC is a receiver combo because you know you don't have a lot of space in a buggy. It's amazing they got all this stuff down in here. But the motor is a 65 turn brushed motor. The uh, It's an ESC two in one receiver like what I mentioned. Um, I don't see the amperage on the ESC, but it's probably not a whole lot. I mean, just look. It's all like super tiny in this thing, right? The servo is an AS1 micro servo. It comes with the AA batteries for the SLT2 transmitter. You get the full instruction manual on this. And now what makes this actually nice is that when you get into the book, you get into technical things like 22.5 weight shock oil. All your shocks, design, everything, um, it's all here. Absolutely phenomenal. You want to hang on to these. Got to be honest with you, this is not the best spot for it. Inside the Jack's building, we're going to eventually have carpet. But for right now, this is what I've got. You know, it handles better than some of my on-road cars. Wow. I kid you not, I have no idea what the lap times are here, but uh, now that corner over there actually has more traction than this one does. That is topped out. So if that is a full 13 miles per hour, that's about all you want here. So I'm guessing, assuming this is a 15 mile per hour track. <laughs> Guys, that particular drive wasn't really what I wanted to do but at least it was some kind of something to give you a drive in the very first video. I'm gonna get back out and do an actual legit first drive for this. Light was kind of going dim. I wanted to get some slow motion of the landings and all that, but in dim light, it doesn't work at all. So I got what I could for you guys, and um, if you guys wanna be part of the next big thing, this is it. You can race these anywhere, okay? That's what's so beautiful about these. You can race them anywhere. They need nothing. It all comes in the package. Guys, check that description. I will link these little dudes up down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And you guys go out and make it. Make it somebody else's day. They deserve it. Have a good one. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.